This is Colin O'Keefe here once again for LXBN TV. In today's world, there seems to be a constant competition to see whose product is more organic, natural, or environmentally friendly. The Federal Trade Commission, however, is cracking down on what's commonly being called greenwashing. Joining me now to explain the FTC's efforts on this front is attorney Bill Ruskin. He is with Epstein Becker Green, and he is author on the superb toxic tort litigation blog. Bill, first, can you walk us through the FTC's efforts on this front? What have they done to crack down on this growing trend of greenwashing? Well, the first thing the FTC has done is revised the green guides, which are the regulations which really govern what the industry should or should not do with regard to environmental advertising. And these green guides were updated in 2012 to bring them up to date since now claims are being brought about climate change and sustainability and about all sorts of environmental claims that were not really thought about in the 1990s when the FTC first began to look at deceptive trade practices with regard to environmental advertising. I see. And then second, you highlighted some of these things in your piece, but, but what are the biggest mistakes companies are making when it comes to greenwashing? What should they really avoid doing? Well, the first thing they need to do is look at the green guides because these are really written from the consumer's standpoint. They're really easy to read and understand. And this isn't rocket science. Uh, I think that it's important that a lawyer, probably an in-house lawyer, review marketing material before it goes out to print or goes out into video. And I think that most importantly, the company needs to have strong and reliable science to support its claims. If they claim, for example, the, the product is biodegradable or recyclable, recyclable, they should have strong scientific evidence to demonstrate that. I see. It's, it's interesting to watch to see because companies do roll out all these different kinds of labels on their products. So uh, it's something to keep an eye on to see how the companies do respond to these FTC green guides that you mentioned. The FTC is increasingly concerned about self-certifications where companies say that the XYZ industry association has independently certified this product as being mother nature safe or uh, eco-friendly when in fact the company created the certification program for only its own products. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's we have something we have to watch because companies, they can't just, you know, make up these awards, these labels and, and these certifications, slap them on their products and then and then roll them out the door. So we'll have to see how the FTC continues to respond to that. Once again, that was Bill Ruskin of Epstein Becker Green. To see more of his commentary on this topic and other insight, be sure to visit ToxicTortLitigationBlog.com. It's an excellent publication, one of the best on our network. And that network is LXPN. If you're not watching us here on our network site, be sure to visit LXPN.com for curated commentary from the world's largest legal blog network and more of these LXPN TV video interviews. Thank you for joining me today, Bill. Thank you, Colin.